one of the issues that comes up commonly when you're faced with this diagnosis and you're approaching surgery is to understand what are the latest and greatest, if you will, technical advances in neurosurgery. I think to understand that, let's start with some of the more relevant, or I should say, uh, common practices in neurosurgery. For example, uh, I think it's very critical in this day and age to have surgery done with a navigational system. So surgeons doing brain tumor surgery without navigation are not really practicing neurosurgery in its best form for neuro-oncology. So I think that that's very, very important. I think another thing that is somewhat related to the surgical piece is the neuroanesthesia level of expertise. There are many hospitals, especially in the community setting, that don't have neuroanesthesiologists. And I can say unequivocally with some of the more advanced techniques, such as brain mapping, that without the right neuroanesthesia, the surgery really can be dangerous in circumstances. So I think that uh, those are two important things. The other thing that's very important is that you need to get a sense of the imaging capabilities uh, that that surgeon has preoperatively. For example, there are a number of times where MRI is not enough that we have to do functional scans where we look at uh, functional localization using special MRI techniques or we look at the physiology of the tumor where we're interested in the metabolism of the tumor and that can be done with MR spectroscopy or diffusion weighted imaging um, or cerebral blood volume imaging. These are all MRI techniques that the surgeon often should use to really truly understand where the tumor is located beyond what is seen on the simple MRI anatomical films. So these are kind of the basic things that have to take place, you know, at this stage.